I'm not late. Stop the clock. I'm not late. It's you guys' clock. That's probably wrong. Usually clocks are wrong by like multiple hours or round number, but I think you guys' clock is just wrong by a couple minutes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another Rima episode. Oh, let me pull up the chat. I'm never late. What do you guys what do you guys talk about? I'm never late. What? What? Me? Late? I would never be late. Clop clop. I mean chop chop. <laughs> Stop the clop. <laughs> Who wrote that? Venom. Hmm. <laughs> it's Lorelei. What's up, Lorelei? What do you guys think about doing a 50k celebration event? Because 50k is just around the corner. And we could have a bunch of guests over. Like Lorelai, for example. I'm a little quiet. What about now? I raised it. Oops, I'm I'm looking at the wrong chat. One chat is delayed. I'm... Why is my voice quieter? What about now? Do I sound good? I have never played Jackbox, but we'll probably play a lot of party games. I mean, I'd I'd have Your volume is fine. Thank you. Merch for 50k? Yeah, we're working on the merch. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there on time. I just received the poster. Thumbnail B. Always remember thumbnail A. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. So, this week, there won't be any videos. I announced that on Twitter already. I'm thinking... We're going to do more streams instead. Uh, and some streams won't be just about VTuber news because that's getting a little old. <laughs> it's getting a little old. And uh, I, th I think we're ready to move on to other things too. We're still going to do the VTuber news, but we can do other streams as well, I think, and mix it mix it in here and there. Yeah, remember 3.11 when you guys lost thumbnail A? <laughs> Who fixed at 50k? We already had the reward. I could do some hoof picks at 50k though. Chat remember 311. Pre-order for karaoke ticket. I am waiting. Uh, you're gonna wait a lot. <laughs> but thank you for the super professional gentleman. I mean, I would love the karaoke, but shit, you need a mic for that. First of all, you need a mic for that. And you need like good audio setting. And also I can't sing, but maybe that's the funny part. But it's weird because I'm kind of, you know, when you're going to sing karaoke with your friends, you get a booth at this like Asian place. You know, those booths where you get like a private room to sing and everybody's drunk and they're singing with you and the music is loud. So it's not awkward. If I do this, I'm going to be alone in my room staring at my screen. And I have to just imagine you guys cheering for me. So I didn't promise. What? <laughs> I did not promise. Oh, wow. Thank you so much to the tier three membership. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is the best part of karaoke, I agree. I already have a throne. Um, but throne changed. You used to have an extension where you add items through the extension. And I think they removed that and they're only letting you add items through their shop. So I'm having a little bit more trouble finding exactly what I want. I just added a bunch of stuff. 
that I was like, oh, this is cute, but I wish you could just like um, take stuff from Amazon. I'm sure you can. It's just a little more complicated. Minecraft stream when? Oh, yeah, we could do a Minecraft stream, but I am super noob at Minecraft. Like I die all the time. I, I think because uh, we have a Minecraft server in my Discord server and uh <laughs> the server kept making fun of me because i died all the time sag somebody made a box just of new tools for me to go get the tools from every time i died because <laughs> i couldn't get back to my body so i just go get a new set every time <laughs> I, I went through a lot of sets I'll just say that right now. I went through a lot of sets. I haven't played the game since then because I lost my password because I'm terrible with fast with passwords. But uh, I'll have to install it again. <laughs> we should all play together on the same server. That'd be lit. That'd be really cool if we had like a big ass uh, server. Is there a limit to the uh, amount of people I can join? That'd be cool. I can help a bit with the mic thing, but I can't do anything about the skill issue. <laughs> Thank you. I'll probably I'll probably ask for help on the mic thing. I'll you guys probably need to send me suggestions of mics that I need to purchase for these activities. Tank rat. Oh wow. Gifted 20? Read my even star memberships. Thank you so much for the gifts. Everybody say thank you to Tankrat goaded blonde uchiha i'm glad that since doki's fiasco came to light more agency-based vtubers are opening up about bad experiences here's to the v2 movement <laughs> nah i never <laughs> the v2 movement that is so good that's actually really good maxine maxine hello maxine how are you thank you so much for the member welcome to the cute squad um, to go back on Blonde Uchiha and the V2 movement uh, chat, it's uh, it's pretty accurate. I was thinking about the same thing. Oh, I have a sure, by the way, a sure SMB, professional gentleman. Uh, I'll finish my thought before jumping from one chat to another. Yeah, I've been thinking that a lot more VTubers have come out and uh, it's become a way for them to put pressure on agencies to accelerate a uh, process now we'll have to see if this stays a good thing or if uh we'll see you know me too movement somehow derailed at one point and i'm wondering if we're gonna see that too it's an interesting tangent When are you getting your cute fox model or whatever? Uh, I initially was rushing for that, but now I'm on a wait list for an artist. Uh, and they're going to start designing in April. But I'm like, this is coming up a little too fast now. I kind of want to slow down. I'm kind of enjoying this model for a little longer. So we'll see. I think it's going to be probably end of April. I'll have the Life 2D done. And then in May, we'll do the rigging. And then I'll probably have to finalize some like key arts and stuff like that. So I'm thinking maybe beginning of June. And that'll give us some time for the merch and stuff. I was thinking of doing a Rima plushie. But if we get the new model, then by the time I get this plushie, the model's gonna be outdated, so I think we gotta wait a little. She's waiting for a horse artist. No, I'm not. I'm really not. But I was thinking that do you guys wanna see the sketch for the plushie? This person made a lot of plushies before. They were like, oh, I know everything you need to do. Don't worry about anything. I got you. I was like, oh, okay. I'm, I was happy to have somebody guide me a little. Where are you guys? I lost the chat. So, 
that's the the thing will we might be a fox or a horse i am wondering the same should we look how cute it is would you guys buy that i was wondering because right now it doesn't have a tail oh that is that's actually i just got an idea with this we could have the little what's the round thing the round iron they put under horses hoofs we could have that on her feet don't worry i found the chat it's right there i'm like where are you guys i also need a new monitor i actually think i need to upgrade my setup if i'm gonna be streaming that much that's not the new model, Andrew, no! <laughs> yeah, we need- we could add a little horse hint, like the little horseshoes. They're called horseshoes, right? And the ears are, are super cute, but they- <laughs> And we could have like a little horse tail as a joke. Like, <gasps> what the hell? The manufacturer put the wrong tail <laughs> on my model. Or we can just have a foxtail and make it really fluffy. So, also the fabrics. Oh, we can just talk about the fabrics next stream. But like, I was trying to ch check like what other VTubers do in terms of models. Do you guys? Do you guys have like good VTuber plushies? They all have this kind of really flat hair, though. But I think it's because the fabric's made like that. Like, even this Gargura one. Okay, that one's a little cursed because it's, uh, it's an AliExpress plushie, but... This is Marine. This is Gura. This is Suisse. But you see, it's just like these kind of cut pieces of hair. And this is Bao's plushie. Bao's plushie is pretty. And it has the tail in the back. Which gave me the idea to do a tail on my, on my plushie too. Rima, will the reaction submissions be a separate stream? Or maybe end of stream? I think we'll just do one big stream because you guys have sent me a lot of reactions. And every time I peek in that channel, I'm like, oh shit, no, I'm not supposed to look. And I have to close it immediately. Usually the hair is very flat unless the hair is layered. Okay. And Gooba looks pretty derpy. This is a little cursed, not gonna lie. But the eyes are nice. Alright, we're closing these. Yeah, this is cute. I like her. I I don't even mind the ears. I don't even mind the ears for once. Yeah, my next stream is gonna be a reaction stream. So if you guys want me to react to your memes or your whatever you want me to react to, it can be any kind of media, except something that will get me DMCA'd, if you can. Um, join my Discord channel. I don't know if a mod can post the Discord. And post your reactions or whatever you want me to react to in the appropriate channel called React Submissions. And also, I'm going to do another stream that's a Q&A stream because I've had a couple people wondering if I'm ever going to do one of those because they wanted to ask some questions and there's a lot of questions I've been missing in chat. So if you guys have questions for me, you can go to Marshmallow. I've announced it. I'm going to grab the, the link from Twitter real quick. And you can submit me your anonymous questions on Marshmallow as well. Keep in mind it's a Japanese website, so you're gonna have to like use the Google Translate form. 
I, even I was confused at first. And this is Marshmallow. All right, so today let's uh let's start. We've done the small talk. <laughs> so let's get into the action. So today's mainly going to be an update on the Alien X mixture situation. VNU VNU has been raising red flags for over a month uh, now uh, when Amano Serafi, one of their livers from Gen 2, if I remember properly, just stopped streaming for a very long period of time. Uh, January and February, she was mostly absent. And she recently went on a stream, which we covered in a previous live stream, where she said that she had left the company. They had not made an announcement about her graduation, uh, but she was then then Legal Mindset made a stream about her and kind of we kind of discovered during that stream that she had been fined four hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars as a leaving fine, as a leaving fee. Usually, it's pretty common, or it is legal for contracts to have a departure fee if you break contract earlier than you're supposed to usually these fees are intended to cover your assets your vtuber model things that the agency or the company has invested in you that you have not been able to get them back uh to get them back by the time uh you fin you you work you finish working with them however time that was Less than 100 stocks between cover and any color. Are you serious? But any color has been dropping so much. I have stocks. I have a little bit of stocks with any color and it's not going well. Like, I don't want to look at my... I don't want to look at this. This is such an awful graph. What the fuck? Yeah. Fuck that. I'm not looking at this. That money's gone. And it, it ain't coming back. <laughs> so. No, it's not any color stock. I have whole life stocks. And cover corp is not going well. Yeah, I should have bought Niji stocks. They're so low. <laughs> well, they asked for it. I don't have any color stocks. I have cover corp stocks, guys. The Everybody's only talking about the any color stocks, but I've never, ever, ever seen like with any color i just put a little bit of money and then sell and then put a little and then sell and put a little and then sell and for over six months they've always had a very regular graph it's always been up down up down so it's like the it's the best graph i love their i love their graphs because it was always predictable what the what was gonna happen but since the whole Niji thing blew up, cover has just, their stocks have plummeted and it has not recovered. And every time I think it's going to recover a little, it just goes down again. It's, uh, the Niji Sanji has really affected the whole market. And I don't know if it's because for streaming, it's low. For VTubing in general, it's low. Is it an industry thing? Uh, is it a recession or is it just the Niji Sanji effect? Oh my god, we got another horse raid! Tamoe! I caught you stream the other day on Twitter. It was very nice. Oh, also, that sandwich you posted yesterday, that looked very tasty. That looked so tasty. Yeah, 
is she still here i wanted to ask her i actually want her and uh, lorelei to join my 50k celebration stream at one point i would love that if i could have uh, the the horse girls on stream yeah 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 would you guys like that would chat like that hello kato thank you for understanding i thought that sandwich was based first when you were listing off the ingredients I was wondering if you were making a sandwich in Pokemon or something, but then I understood <laughs> what's a real sandwich was posted. Nice, nice. We got the Pony Club for the 50k celebration. I knew chat would love that. <laughs> That's cool. Horse together strong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Horse girls unite. <laughs> Man, chat is so easily pleased that they were so fun. You guys are so cute. Stable dream. <laughs> okay. Wait. Ha we need to play Barbie Equestrian. Wasn't there like a Barbie Equestrian like a video game at one point or a barbie horse stable yeah when i did my countess with uh when i did my collab with countess lita she did add one of this game to her slides i feel like that'd be so funny to play like a millennial game like that What about in... You know one game I've never played? Uh, uh, what is... It? Not Animal Farm. What is it called? That game with the islands that you play... That is... <laughs> it is cursed. <laughs> it is cursed. That game you play on Switch with, the, with islands and you can visit each other's islands. What is that? Barbie horse adventure. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god. Wait, that that is actually the game. I did play this at one point. I remember the graphic. I'm, I just had a flashback. Damn, the graphics were ass. What the fuck? We had no standards back then. Oh, I can't show this because it's my Amazon page. God damn it. Every website that I opened is... Okay, we can show this. The graphics are so bad. <laughs> but cowboy hat, woke, woke, Animal Crossing. Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh my god, why couldn't I remember Animal Crossing? I'd be down to play Animal Crossing. I've never played that game. Maybe it's not a collab game though. Maybe we need a game that's like a shorter game. The GameCube version of Animal Crossing was fire. Wasn't GameCube like an off time, one time thing? Like every scuffed polygon horse is actually that. <laughs> it's actually the horse is so scuffed. It looks like polygon from Pokemon. <laughs> like the Lara Croft of horses, absolutely. Yeah, Countess Lita, this other content creator, showed me pictures and videos of Lara Croft. And I was like, man, we used to think these graphics were good. <laughs> these graphics are so bad. Oh, Animal Crossing is a solo game. That's so lame. How am I supposed to mid-max? 
Niji Sanji sucks. In other news, the graphics from Barbie Horse Adventures also suck. Prima, responsive a subscriber sent you a nine feet tall horse plushie. I'm gonna put my dog on it. See what happens. Make my dog ride the horse plushie. It'd be hilarious. Stardew Valley has multiplayer. Okay. Yeah, that could be cute. I do like Stardew Valley. Pokemon Horse and Queen only team run when? That sounds awful. Is there even enough horse Pokemon? There's not even enough. There's like... Uh, actually, I don't know which which new Pokemon they added. They keep adding more. I like Spectrier, but he wasn't in the last game. That guy is not in Scarlet and Violet, is he? They have... They had... Ponita was there. Rapidash was... They had Mudbray and Mudsail. Mudsdale. They're not very cute. They're not woke. Was Spectre in Scarlet and Violet though? Or maybe they'll add them because they're doing DLCs right now. They re-added them to SV? Oh. Does Sentler count? I'm also wondering that. He's not he's not a horse, he's a deer. Nah, he doesn't count. Same with Zebstrika. I wouldn't count him in the horse. What about Keldeo? Is Keldeo a horse? He has hooves, but... Stantler is in Reindeer. Oh, my bad. Keldeo and the other Swords of Justice are in SV. Oh, man. Okay. I... Wow. I must have not played in a while. I thought I completed a game. Ungulate counts? Who's ungulate again? That's... Did you invent a name? I can't find it. Oh, the giraffe horse. No, he's more of a giraffe than a horse. Come on. Does Rima have a favorite Pokemon? Gengar and Hunter. They're my favorite. Arceus is a horse. Horse. Asses? Why is asses in there? And zebras are all equal. The seahorse count, Kingdra, we could make him count, yeah. You guys want me to play like a horse Nuzlocke? Kingdra is cool. I, I do really like... Is there a concept of a seahorse VTuber? I was thinking about that. Why has no one done that yet? I love seahorses, they're cute. Oh, and donkeys. Is that an actual term for donkeys? I did not say giraffe horse. What? <laughs> I did not say those words. Ass refers to donkeys? I've never heard it referred to like that. Really? Why do we call donkeys butts in English? Donkeys are also called an ass. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, 
another Rima stream where Rima has learned a new English word. Let's go. <laughs> it's a very, very old term. Oh, man. Uh, whoops, I wanted to click on the comment saying a sea dragon could make a look good design, but the chat's going too fast. Yeah, I think a sea dragon could look cool. Doesn't read my ears look more like a donkey ears? All right, you're lucky I can't ban somebody from this chat window. You're lucky. Mods! Mods, stop this man! He's slandering me. A zebra is closely related to a donkey. I mean, they're all in the horse family, probably, yeah. This became an evolution stream. Here is my apology money for the end of your last stream. <laughs> Use it for new stable and the best carrots. Thank you. We'll have to fight my dog for the carrots, though. He goes so batshit crazy when there's carrots being eaten around him. He loves carrots so much. I used to give it to him so it would like clean his teeth when he was young. Uh, and now he absolutely loves carrots. I don't know why. I think it's the crunchy sound when you... When he hears somebody eat them, he like starts running. <laughs> Why do you guys keep saying zonky? That's not a real term. There's no way. Thank you, Omar. The term ass partly comes from the Latin assignus, which is the scientific name for the subgenus of specific species donkeys come from. That's not very nice to donkeys. And we also call people that are behaving like ass donkeys, so what the hell? Your dog eats carrots raw? Yes. Yeah. He loves carrots. And apples. But my dog likes everything. Everything that's edible. And even things that are not edible. He probably loves them. He eats everything. <laughs> Does Iron Crown count as a Pokemon horse? Let's see. Um, nah, he doesn't look like a horse, guys. He looks like an antler. He's much more an antler than anything else. But... but maybe we'll need to be a little looser with the definitions of what constitutes a horse team in Pokemon or... Because I don't know if we can beat the games with, without, uh, is he, what, what type is he? He is Steel Psychic. I don't know why the Steel and Psychic Pokemons are so useful in uh, that game. I also think donkeys are awesome animals. They're just very calm animals. Like, you can... If you leave your donkey somewhere, he's legit not gonna move. I used to make sand castles with grandma, but my parents found it creepy and glued the urn shut. Oh my god. Are you making a hex haywire joke? Lex Wazer. Why do you have a name that sounds similar to? <laughs> this is freaking me out. <laughs> you guys told me about that hex joke, but I didn't watch it till I was off stream. And I watched it and I was also very confused because he has a very straight face when he talks about it. Is he serious? He's not serious, right? He's joking. I love the face of his uh, partner, the blonde guy. What's his name again? I forgot. He's... He's so funny! He's like... 
<laughs> he, he like doesn't know how to act. I love that. It reminds me of like, you know, when in reality shows, um, when they try to hype up the next episode or what's going to happen later in the episode, they like build up the hype, like somebody's saying something awful and then they'll cut to somebody's like face or expression. <gasps> like doing a, what do you say? Is it called a soy face? Yeah, Venta. Yes, exactly. Oh my god, his face was worth one million dollar. It was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he didn't get in trouble for that joke. How are you supposed to react to that? You're like, I don't know. I think he reacted the way I would have reacted to. <laughs> Pretty sure it was a joke, but it's real funny when he had problem with drug Zion made. Oh, I heard about that too. Some people were saying that. Did he? Did he say something publicly about it? Rima equals horse girl chat equals donkey. What are you doing in my swamp? Send us to battle. The hoofed army will. <laughs> Why did I add an H here? <laughs> The hoofed army will conquer all. Yay! Thank you, Rose. That is true. We will conquer. Do not fuck with my uh, my cavalry. Poor Venta. Whole people's through. As much as one can in EGN. Yeah. And today's agency, VNU, they, they gave me a lot of Niji Sanji vibes. Um... Because after she wanted to leave and she came out and said that she she wasn't working with the company anymore, they got really mad at her and they released a statement saying that they were she was very difficult to work with. What else did they claim in that statement? I, I took some notes. Um They're saying that they initially agreed to her time off request. That she was very difficult to work with and that they had to assign her four different managers uh basically the way they they were wording it was it kind of insinuated that they were replacing managers because she had she was somebody that was difficult to work with they claimed that she wanted to stop communicating with them and that future communications would be made via legal actions but talking to a lawyer doesn't equal legal actions this is also something a claim that Niji Sanji echoed. Um, and then towards the end of their announcement, they kind of said that, kind of hinted that they would pursue legal actions against her. Uh, because she affected their reputation and the work of the other livers in the company. So, weird. Weird PR statement. It doesn't look good. Like, uh, as your reputation as a company, it just doesn't look good. Any kind of drama or speculation you are... Uh, you're entangled with. That's the difference with how Idol Corp, like, handled the situation. They kind of just settled it amicably and they released a joint statement. Which is exactly what Niji Sanji should have done with Doki Bird. Roger's dad, thank you for the super. Cavalrima. Oh, that's good. That does have a nice ring to it. Spectre Von Baron. I was thinking that with your comment on being an evil villain or something. An evil villain or something. I'm the biggest evil humanity has ever seen. What do you mean? Maybe make your next model be sharply dressed soldier with... With a riding crop to hit your goons and reference horses. I could have a riding crop. Uh, the, the idea, I think, of my concept is that I'm a, I'm a villain in training.
<laughs> your honor we're asking for 150 and 45 thousand dollars they're asking of her half a million dollars and she responded she responded today which is what i want to go over um also legal mindset had some parts of her contract which uh we're gonna go over some things but since he already went over it we're not really gonna go deep like you guys can just go watch the stream you're about as evil as rooney ruse uh, i'm actually evil okay <laughs> rooney ruse is very cute very very cute I like her a lot. So, um, just to give you some context, they gave... This is... This is the notice of contract termination with Amano Serafi. It was only after False ID made a video on it. Legal Mindset made a video on it and alien mixture went on her stream to talk about it that they finally made a graduation notice for her and basically this paragraph is what i have a problem with however since our last interaction she has engaged in public online activities that have been damaging to the talents and the company most of her claims were exaggerated and misleading. She gave us no choice but to terminate her contract and pursue legal actions. For the brand, she made sense cutting off communication with us, including NDA violation and making false claims. And what we... Um, and then they also issue are issuing refunds for... Uh, from december to march and the reason why they are now refunding people for these months it's because if they weren't they would be defrauding people alien mixture basically said that in her statement over here that she stopped working from uh, beginning of february and she had told them that she wanted to leave it wasn't until end of february that um, they started to process her her leave and the company still was trying to promote her like she was part of the company they were releasing merch with her uh they were doing like events not events, but they were doing tweets as if she was still part of the company, which is weird. So let's say you're a fan and you're supporting the company because she's your Oshi. But she's not even working there anymore. Uh, so the reason why they're, they're issuing refunds now is because the cat's out of the bag they basically got caught lying we buy rima the field for the army and lm coffee that'd be so great thank you so much rose we're gonna need a lot uh, a large portion of that field for the coffee Kriasa, you need a nemesis, an arch enemy to solidify your stat status as a super villain, Rima. <gasps> That's, uh, you're cooking right now. That's a pretty good idea. Like, Blofeld has Bond, Dr. Evil has Austin Power, and Lex Luthor has Superman. Oh my god, you're so right. All right, we need to, we need to find an arch enemy right now. It's probably gonna happen naturally. Like, I need to find a rival. They don't post refunds on her YouTube, only Twitter when all the donators are on YouTube. Right, because you need to submit a form. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you need to go through a form to request your refund. And they haven't announced that on their YouTube? Hmm. 
Interesting. You guys want Barrett as my rival? That is so funny. False as my rival? Wait, that could work. I could see it. I could see it. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Make a dark side Rima, an actual horse girl, evil Rima. Horse versus pony. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's funny. You guys are so easy to please. If I ever run out of dead air or something, or I run out of things to say, I'll just be like, horse joke, lol. <laughs> I think that'd be enough. <laughs> You, Pirate, and Dian can be a League of Evil. But these two guys are way too nice. How can we be a League of Evil? They're like way too soft, man. Did I miss the premiere? No, there's no premiere. It's just a live stream. I need Rima fan art of her crossing the Alps like certain French general. Yes. Or going through the mountain like in Lord of the... The snowy mountain like in Lord of the Ring with like Saruman like casting spells on us and shit. Hey Rima, can I draw a manga about the VTuber Cloud House with you appearing as the director from the top as a lightning street pole? <laughs> yes! Oh, you've been listening. I don't know if you guys were there, but... When I was on Nuzagi's stream, I don't know why I have made like tinfoil app when I tinfoil hat, not app, when I go there. But uh, I was started talking about like a concept called the VTuber Cloud House, <laughs> where we would have a house and we would make VTubers live there together, kind of like the whole live off collab. And then viewers could like pay to interact with part of the house and stuff. <laughs> And we could watch them like Big Brother. Remember, will be Mega Mind. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Like the, um, the silly villain kind of vibes. Like uh, Vagar from League. New lore concept for Rima even star shape shifting Kitsune who turns into a horse girl form. Oh yeah, you think you're you think you're creative right now, huh? You think you're creative? Like you're not the 30th person who's trying to convince me to be a shapeshifting kitsune who turns into a horse. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the <laughs> Welcome to the Clopper's house. <laughs> Welcome to the cavalry. Like Laplace and Holo X. I've been told from people that know me a little better or that hung out with me in discord because i'm like apparently uh more unhinged there they said okay laplace thinks she's a super villain uh, no laplace what did they say they say laplace is chuny you actually think you're a super villain <laughs> they were basically saying you're crazy <laughs> Uh, how about shape-shifting horse that can change into a fox then? <laughs> I haven't got- I haven't heard that one yet. At least you're bringing a new idea. Thank you. I'm trying to think of like rewards or milestones for the birthday celebrate- not the birthday. The 50k celebration stream. You guys are giving me a lot of ideas. Yes. One of them could be Rima practice her villain laugh, and the other would be 
already forgot somebody said something that gave me an idea we'll probably do the rewards together we'll we can we can dedicate a stream to us figuring out the rewards or the punishments most of them are probably punishments <laughs> if you guys decide them Rima and Riku have never been seen together at the same time. <gasps> you, might, you might be up to something there. Parrot, mind control support we for Channer Girl Go. What are you? No, it's the other way around. I'm mind controlling them. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Parrot doesn't have that much power. I do. Rima, the magical kitsune who turns into a horse girl when she transforms to use her power. Someone get Rima a wand. Can I have a Sailor Moon wand? I'd be down if it's a Sailor Moon looking wand. Rima drowns Nuzagi, but he likes it ASMR. <laughs> hey, Charlie. Yeah, you know what? Didn't he say that? Didn't he say that he has a fear of drowning? Uh, but then he was like kind of into it. It's so weird, man. It's so weird. <laughs> he also said that he's drowned before, which makes it even hard, like weirder. <laughs> One of the rewards could be a hoof reveal for sure. He started retelling his trauma of drowning in a very excited way. Yeah, he did. He did. I was confused. <laughs> I was actually confused. And it takes a lot to shock me. It takes a lot, guys. The best part is he was sober. <laughs> yes. Yes. It is true. It is true. Oh, man. Oh, man. What is it? Dude, the internet has ruined us. You're a Kelpie, evil horse shapeshifter who drown. What do you mean drown? Kelpies. Kelpies are nature horse, aren't they? Like Lorelei Lock is a Kelpie. Thank you, Lady J. Okay, um... Let's go back to the topic. You guys are getting too excited with the horse stuff. You guys are getting too hyped. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, where was I? Yeah. So, Alien Mixture. She released this document this morning. And uh, I, I read it with my morning coffee and I was just like, whoa. Yeah, enough horsing around chat. Uh, let's get back to the main topic. Or the VOD watchers are gonna get mad. Hi, VOD watchers. Hello from the past. Okay, so she says originally I did not include specific information and details at the time as I wanted to preserve some semblance of privacy for myself. Can I full screen that? Nice. However, with the release of their most recent statement, I feel I need to address the situation one final time to refute the multiple incorrect and inaccurate statement by my previous agency. Their statement was weird. They added a lot of facts that was not necessary to basically paint her in a bad light. Kind of like what Niji Sanji did with their statement with Selentatsky's termination, which it makes me angry when I read those kind of statements. Every time I have the same reaction. Uh, the first claim by VNU Entertainment stating that it has not always been easy for us to work with her as we had to change and reassign her a new manager for time to meet her needs, but we believe it was all part of the process is false. Just a little parenthesis here. I've also... I've also wondered... 
do you guys actually think that claim of somebody being difficult with in an entertainment industry uh holds that much weight it's they've tried to do that with waifu baby too waifu baby had this thing with a company um where she was working with them and she left because uh, she said she had like horrible working conditions and when she left uh, a couple of people came out and said that she was very difficult to work with, which somehow, uh, for some reason, it swayed public's opinion back to being neutral with the agency. And I was, I was, uh, I was a bit confused because I'm like, is isn't it? I think it's pretty common to have people to, that are difficult to work with in entertainment. It's uh, it's common, at least for me, from what I've experienced. Most people I work with are difficult to work with, but they're good at their job because they are difficult. What do you mean by difficult? It can be... It can range. There's the people kind of like me that are picky and I want things done uh, at certain standards certain high levels of standards and then there's some other people that I work with that are difficult to work with but in a different way it's more like uh, they're very they have a very good vision they have a very good creative mind they know exactly what they want and they'll tell you they're like hyperactive they're like do this do that no do this do that and you kind of have to filter with all of their ideas um no we're not gonna do this but we're gonna do that and you kind of need to control them even though they have a very strong personality um but the people that don't know how to deal with that kind of personality they're just gonna get walked all over them and they're going to be like up all night trying to answer to every single one of their demands. But the trick with those people is to be like, no, I don't think this is a good idea. I think we should do it this way instead. Or just give them something that's good or that's better. Did you see that Vettel's absence at his daughter's birthday will be negligible and he was forced to make an apology video? I did see that. It's all over the internet. I really like that skit. It's funny because this part of the internet doesn't really interact with like news and stuff and it did there. Difficult is subjective, yes. Emo, difficult to work with needs to be qualified. Everything is difficult, especially in entertainment. Yes, I agree with that. Everything's difficult in entertainment. It's like long hours. Um, you're expected to go above and beyond because it's a very competitive industry. And everybody, most people are freelance. So it's like the more you work, the more you put yourself out there, the more successful you are. So in the end everybody works more because the bar keeps getting raised higher and higher and higher and higher depends too broad and the basic meaning is to be expected the whole range can be used as an excuse because it matters on exacerbating circumstances instead yeah it's like a wide uh, word they use to um to project the feeling that it could be much worse without having to describe it honestly truly difficult problematic people are rare the ones that are hard on others harsh on others or the like are rare because no one wants to work with them yeah i agree um even if you're like a super talented person I think if you're very difficult to work with, people won't like working with you. There is, um, I've heard about this movie director. Take for example movie directors. Uh, a lot of them are considered hard to work with because they'll have very specific rules. They want to get this certain scene very right and they're, they know exactly what they want. But every time 
their movies are hit but you know when you're working on that set that you're gonna be working your ass off for i don't know how many months you're gonna be working on a movie that could that's an example i'm thinking of Holo rotates their experienced employee to work with new talent and vice versa. It makes it less stressful for both sides while maintaining good efficiency. That's actually so smart. Yeah, you that's that's a very good way to do things. You have to be really successful to be difficult, otherwise no one will put up with you. That is true. 100% true. I agree with that. Like Stanley Kubrick. Oh my god, a couple of you are saying that name. Is he known to be difficult? Tarantino? Wait, Tarantino's difficult? I love Tarantino. I love his movies. They're great. They're like... James Cameron, I've heard about him being difficult too. It seems to me that it's very suspicious that everyone, every time someone wants to leave a company, they're called difficult to work with. Seems like a common excuse. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Flying Octopus. Let's keep going to see what VNU Entertainment has to say. I never requested for my managers to be changed. This was done by my agency without my knowledge or consent. So here it is, guys. Like, she wasn't. What we're gonna find out in this document, because I pre-read that, is that she didn't never even ask for a manager to be changed. All of the changes were made by the company, and they try to pass it off as if it was because of her. I tried to accommodate the request demands and the way they manage things. All three times, four total managers, my managers were changed. It was due to other reasons, which I will detail below. Kubrick is the 200 takes to make one scene guy. Oh my god. I heard Cameron is demanding. I feel like they're all demanding, all these people. The people say his work with Stanley Kubrick is a nightmare. I can believe that. It's always like the crazy visionary guys that are super difficult to work with. Um, I don't know what, but at the same time, directors have to manage like a budget, um, a time, like a production calendar. You need to get your scenes in a certain amount of time. You got the producer whispering in your ear, "Hey, we're gonna go. In, we're gonna clock in overtime soon." And uh, in the movie industry, all of that's unionized, and all of that like can end up costing you a ton of money. Well, not as he said, sorry, sorry, <laughs> grammar. <laughs> the first manager I had when I first started working at VNU Entertainment will be referred to as Man One. Man One worked with me during my debut and for a period of about a month after that. The only language I know and speak is English, and I was hired specifically to bring in a Western audience. Therefore, I required an English-speaking manager, but Man 1 did not speak the best English and also did not have the best management skills. There were numerous cases where my questions would go unanswered, which would then require me to follow up and tag him multiple times for him to see and acknowledge it. Or he would take my questions to a higher up and I would sometimes get an answer back if I was lucky. Very useful. Maybe that's why Suisse threw a shoe at her director too. What's up with the shoes and the foot and the directors? At least it wasn't a horseshoe. To make it 
in Hollywood, you have to be a demanding POS, it seems. Is that how you pronounce it? POS or POS? Seems like it. Or maybe once you make it, then you become demanding. Who knows what comes first? Surprisingly, Clint Eastwood is a great director. Man, you guys are, you guys like movies. I like movies too. POS. I haven't seen the MV yet. Wait, I've seen that MV pass by a lot, yes, when I was doing my research on Swissy. The music is banger? Okay, I'll watch it. Can I zoom in on the text? Ah, there you go. Is that better? Can even make it bigger. I lost chat. Where are you guys? Say something so I can find you. Remus manager be like, please don't throw your shoes at me. Yeah. And my shoes are pretty pointy. They're pretty deadly. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you guys can always tell me to zoom in on stuff if you can't see. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, I'm... Alright, so her first manager didn't speak English. Uh, he barely did anything. He didn't really ping... She had to ping him multiple times to get a follow-up. I need a third monitor. I'm gonna add this to my list of things to buy. We need a new monitor. We need the new... We need the pedestal to add all the monitors on it. And we need... A stream deck. So I could have sound effects. And the reverb mic. Because I like to do a confession stream too. And... I also need to buy an ASMR mic. For the meme ASMR stream that I'm gonna do. I'm the only person that buys like uh, expensive equipment for jokes. <laughs> I'm crazy. Anyway, carrying on. Crap, I lost chat again. Okay, there we go. I also need a new fridge and a new mattress because both of them are broken right now. But we'll get to that later. After the after the new monitor that's that's lower on the list of priority uh, okay so she gives an example of when there was a lot of miscommunication because they didn't stream the same they didn't speak the same language one time she wanted her some assets for her model she made a whole folder of examples showing the expression toggles that she wanted which was was requested by man number one None of those expression toggles were delivered. I brought up the fact that these expression toggles were missing, but management disregarded my concern. As I did not want to seem picky or complain, I accepted the circumstances as I thought they knew best. Some time passed after this, and I was randomly informed that man number one was then moved to a different apartment, and I was assigned a new manager. No, my ma mattress is just, it's just old. So the springs in the middle are like not working anymore. They're lower. So I always sleep kind of crooked. And my fridge is broken. Yeah, and I'm using in the meantime like a mini fridge that my friend lent to me. But that mini fridge either doesn't keep things cold or I have to crank it up. And then stuff is frozen. Like, I bought new tomatoes and they're frozen now. <laughs> the worst. So I've mostly been ordering food. Because uh, this fridge cannot keep the food. Your fridge is broken too? 
Yeah, so I'm I need to look for a new mattress eventually. Springs get worn out after a while. That's why it's better to buy not a spring mattress, like the other kind of mattress that is just like full on full. Uh it's like fabric. Like a cushion. But spring mattress eventually just get worn out. And I have I've had this one for a really long time. But now I'm really starting to feel it. I'm like, there's no way that I can pl uh, play. Like, let's say I'm, you know, you're flat on your back. I'm not flat on my back. It's like I can feel myself sinking. <laughs> oh my God, please get a new mattress. I slept on a slumped old mattress for years. My freaking back suffered for it. Oh no, that's going to stress me out. Every time I think about it, I start getting anxious. Yes, I need a memory foam or a futon. Honestly, apparently floor mattress is pretty good for your back. Decent beds are overpriced and they're all like white label stuff. So it's very hard to pick a mattress because you go to one store and there's the mattress for like a certain price. Then you go to another store and it's the same mattress, but under another name for another price. So it's very difficult. Rima, I made a retarb and boasted in your Discord thinking it was Gear Cats. Please forgive. Club for life. Thank you so much. Like this fine. Club for life. <laughs> Just throw some hay on the floor. It will be fine. Yeah, I might as well just sleep on my yoga mat. It might be better. Okay. So after her first manager left, she got assigned a second manager. Um, she said that she was not the best at English or had prior management experience, but she would try her best. I was okay with this because I did not want to cause issues. Uh, and I can acknowledge that English is not everyone's first language. Mentu was very nice, but there were miscommunications at times where it was hard to reach her with questions and statements. However, suddenly she was no longer my manager and I was not given a heads up. I was then assigned by my next manager who also managed 10 talents alone. My third manager, as mentioned above, will be referred to as Man3. Man3 had no prior experience with managing and was our marketing leader prior being made manager to 10 talents. So he seems to have more experience at least. My experience with Man 3 was negative. Initially, he seemed to really care and tried to implement changes and as he knew and acknowledged how bad our management system was. However, as time progressed, I slowly started to feel as if he didn't care. There would be many times where I would ask him for guidance and help and the only resp responses I would receive were I'm really busy right now or I can't, I'm working on Gen 3. And this was during the time Gen 3 was pre-debuted. Apparently, guys, to be fair, there is a shit ton of work to do when a new gen is debuting. Mattress stores are money laundering scheme? Is that why they keep boosting their prices on the mattress that I want to buy? Is that why? <laughs> One manager for 10 talents. That's less than what Niji Sanji gets. And he was their marketing director. So he comes in, he's like, what the hell? The way this is, ma I, he has experience. And he's like, the way this, this is managed is shit. Um, and I guess he wants to make changes, but he can't because there's new debut. Now let's keep creating. I fully understood the stress of making sure a generation debuted, but I felt tossed aside and made to do and learn on my own. I was also very nervous at the fact that we were getting new talent so very fast. When I confronted Man3 about this, I told him that it wasn't a very smart thing to do, as VNU Entertainment already had a lot of talents and was pulling a Niji. To which he replied that was the idea because the CEO had a plan with all the talents. 
When I asked him if the plan was a good plan, he only told me, I mean, it's a plan. What? <laughs> okay, so I was right about them going for the shotgun approach. That's exactly what they were doing. They are they are going for the Niji Sanji model. In more ways than once, I'll add. In more ways than once. So they keep that's the problem with this model is that they'll keep pumping out new new talents but they're not gonna care about the other ones you're kind of left to your own resorts after you've debuted he didn't say it wasn't a good plan or a good he didn't say whether it was a good plan or not he just said well it's a plan <laughs> It has failed, but it's still alive. It's still li living. It's barely, but it's still alive. Yeah, it's a plan with this emoji. Exactly. Regarding VNU Entertainment's statement about respecting my time off request. Oh, this one's big. My agency was not completely supportive and pressured me multiple times. See, I love how they always try to word things in the statements that are not what happened at all. They always try to skirt around the, agree the arguments. They say they were completely fine with giving her time off. They gave her the time off when she requested it. They play by the rules. But she claims otherwise. She states that specifically during my move into my grandmother's house that she had willed to me, my personal items and streaming setup was delayed in transit and was not going to arrive for a minimum another week despite being promised next day delivery. Man, that sucks. I would hate to lose my shit especially my computer i will literally i oh my god i will blow a fuse if somebody loses my computer in transit what are you supposed to do for a full week without your stuff die oh shit i'm not supposed to say that in minecraft in minecraft all of my work stuff was backed up in a pod that i was not able to reach due to it being in transit I'll admit three notice uh, as these issues were not due to my negligence and updated him at every possible opportunity. Over time, and three was not receptive to these issues and demanded that I make content regardless. I told him that wouldn't be possible as I had nothing except for my phone and the only thing I could do was make a couple tweets to update my community. He then gave me a deadline to get back to streaming. Disregarding the circumstance and everything I had said prior, that stressed me out immensely as I was afraid I would be fired, let go, and I would lose the only thing I had at the time to make ends meet. Once my streaming setup arrived, I returned to streaming immediately and tried to forget about these interactions. Oof, oof, oof. Let that sink in. Helix Sleep often sponsors YouTuber and they're pretty good. Maybe they can fix you up with something. Oh my god, I love that. I'm gonna write it down. Thank you, Lady J. Are they a mattress company? Helix Sleep. I spoke to my agent because uh, April's looking pretty empty in terms of sponsors and I was getting uh, stressed out financially and uh, they said it's actually pretty quiet at this time of the year and it's normal why does this look like the Sayu Zion document it does right it sounds a lot it looks a lot like a Niji Sanji document yeah man 3 is an asshat I don't know if he's getting pressure from the CEO but still what he does later in the document too is pretty shit. 
my apple too had more empathy <laughs> okay thank you guys i'm gonna reach out to them and see what what is she supposed to do she doesn't have her sh her setup she's not the one that's decided that obviously she'd want to do content if she could there's no content creator that wants to take a week off forcibly trust me no one wants to go for a week off like if you leave for two weeks on the internet you get forgotten about and especially since these girls had debuted not long ago i'm pretty sure you'd want to keep the momentum After that, I started making TikToks and YouTube shorts featuring my singing. A couple of my TikToks blew up. I received a lot of views and that got Mentree's attention. How do people get uh, TikTok followers? My TikTok is so... Veg. I keep getting flagged on TikTok. I think it's the boobas. They don't like it. They keep flagging my VTuber boobas and I get shadow banned. <laughs> anyway, follow me on TikTok. I'm going might even start there too. I was praised and finally received assistance for the first time. First and only of only three times and how to continue gaining numbers on both YouTube and TikTok. After continuously singing and streaming, my voice began to give out and I had to reduce the number of singing shorts and TikToks. That sucks. Your voice can give out like this? Like... Okay, so she goes to an otolaryngologist and after examination was told my vocal cords were inflamed and I had to go on a vocal arrest immediately to prevent further damage i told man three this and he said he understood after that acknowledgement from management i streamed for shorter durations and reduced the amount of streams i only posted tiktoks and shorts when i could due to this my social media growth slowed down during one of my regular meetings at this time man three told me if any of the other talents were in your position with having so many views on TikTok, they wouldn't waste this opportunity and stop working. <sighs> oof. Oof, oof, oof. That is not the way to speak to an artist or a creative person. We're like, we're very sensitive about our work. That's just not how you get the most out of a talent. Well, I like the booba. Screw the tick of the talk. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thank you so much. Yeah, screw TikTok. I agree. Especially if you're well out of your normal range. That's when you can hurt your vocal cords. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't like Man 3 now. Don't like Man 3. I know Pecora once had to go... Uh, get uh, like a surgery because her vocal cords were too she she damaged her vocal cord from streaming too much so i guess you can also do it just from talking a lot and not just from singing that's wild that is wild and you guys want to make me do karaoke what is wrong with y'all i could get injured <laughs> I like the spike man. Thank you for the 10. Styro, Pyro, T Sam, Onella, Jontron, Hachama, Rap Club, Haluva Boss, Nux, Rima. People can succeed if they only make like 10 vids a year. You can do it too. I am slowing down the videos per year. As long as you make really good videos, you can make way less videos, yeah. Talking wrong can hurt your vocal cords, and many people are talking wrong. Injured from karaoke, imagine? We don't want to make you, we just want to see it. Mm. 
Superaria had that and had to slightly change her voice on stream at doctor's direction. Was she talking in a higher pitch voice? Apparently talking in a higher pitch voice can really damage your vocal cords. Scarly hurts her voice all the time for baby. No, Scarly! Scarly's so cute. Marine had a no duel in her vocal cord. She did a few silent streams. What did she do on those st silent streams? I'm curious. Sweet Say also had that. Yes, I remember the Sweet Say thing. That's kind of scary. Uh, when as a VTuber, your voice is most of what you have. Mm -hmm. Her mute streams were somehow more lewd at times. Marines? How? That's so funny. I mean, I love my wife, Marine. Your voice box is a muscle. Like any other, it gets torn. And it gets stronger and weaker depending on how much you use it. Used to be a singer, that stuff is not fun. Oh, But it can get stronger, right? So as long as you take a break, you're fine. Hopefully, hopefully it works like that. Thank you so much for the 10, so It's interesting. I love uh, hearing uh, your professionals. Like, you guys are such a diverse crowd. And I love when you bring in your personal experience or your background into uh, anecdotes. Just like exercise, you can y y y tear your muscle as you can mess up the vocals. What if you do warm-ups, vocal warm-ups, then are you fine? If Marine is your wife, how did she not know her muse streams? I couldn't hear it. She didn't wake me up, probably. She didn't wake me up in time. Oh, that's why there are voice trainers and stuff. Okay. Interesting. Vocal warm-ups are mandatory. <laughs> I'll have to do those before my karaoke stream. <laughs> if that ever happens. uh okay so back to this back to this i think this is such an awful thing to say to somebody and the thing is most of these contracts have this clause that like you need a doctor's note to stop your activities and she went to a doctor and she took his advice wouldn't you want your investment to be safe? Like, in the long run, if she hurts her voice, this will hurt you more. So you should be understanding of this. After hearing this, I cried because I felt as if I wasn't doing enough for my company and my community. The next day I confronted Man3 and he told me it wasn't what he meant to say and that he was sorry. I forgave him. But I still carry those words with me and they still affect me to this day. Aww. That's actually so sad. TikTok doesn't understand the greatness of boobas. Boobas are not an object. They are a way of life. Yours are just too great and powerful for them. Kek W. <laughs> Thank you, Ricardo. Man, you guys are going to be really sad when I reduce them with my new model. <laughs> Consider a couple lessons with voice coach. It helps. I was looking at somebody. They do cost a lot. They cost a lot of money. Like uh, a part of a hundred dollar a session. And I don't really have the money for that yet. But it's on my list. It's on my list. As we grow. I'll... I'll um. I'll uh, be able to afford more stuff uh, to hone my skills. Wait, wait you're doing what? Wait, <laughs> why is everybody freaking out? <laughs> Reduction now! <laughs> why is everybody falling to their knees? 
Like, they're a little distracting right now. They're a little distracting. Thank you, Ascendant. Booba uprising is about to happen in here. Booba save. I'm gonna cry if you do that. <laughs> I'm gonna cry if you do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We could maybe have a toggle. We could maybe have a toggle. I asked for a slider, but they said like there's not even a slider option in VTube Studio. So I don't know about that. Hashtag save the boba. <laughs> like, like it's a whale or like an instant animal. Yeah, free the bobas. Oh, yeah, I had that happen to me in a GameStop, a lady. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean you had that up in another GameStop? Huh? I'm okay with less boobas as long as there's horse ears. Well, about that. There's no sliders, but there are enlargement toggles. Yeah, but that's gonna cost more, so we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll make it a, a reward or something for reaching a milestone. <sighs> After having enough with my agency's mismanagement, okay, well, I'm gonna try to change the subject. Forget about the bobas, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to change the subject. Quick, pivot. We're pivoting. After having enough of my agency's mismanagement, which was cause, which was causing my mental health to decline. I expressed my intentions to graduate for the first time in August 2023. They wanted to compromise with me and ask what they could do to keep me with them. Okay, well, at least they wanted to compromise. Oh, she expressed her intention to graduate for the first time in August 2023. So that was... um, That was a couple months before February. August, September... October, November, December, January, February. So like seven months, six, seven months. Don't follow Leah, please. Hashtag save the boba. <laughs> Wait, what? Did Leah? Leah have a boba reduction too? They will get funded instantly. That's hilarious. Did did Leah also do that, uh, Paolo? I'm not aware of that lore. Pray tell me. Hashtag never forget. Hashtag save the bobas. Hashtag never forget. First 311, then the bobas nerf. Man's life's hard. <laughs> yeah. 2024 sucks. <laughs> 2024 sucks so far. <laughs> Forget about the what? I'm just contributing to the discretionary model toggle fund. Nothing to see here. Carry on. Whistles innocently. <laughs> yeah, you're probably whistling like the Kill Bill song. Thank you, professional gentlemen. This will go to the Save the Boba Fund, okay? I'll put it in the jar. <laughs> you guys are too funny, man. Pochi did that too? Oh no! Pochi also had a boba nerf. Can we get a Rima, Lid, LM Gator, and False doing never gonna give you up? Or Ram Ranch? That's a classic. Also, hashtag save the horse ditties. <laughs> Thank you. I like the spike man. Save the horse titties. We should start a hashtag on Twitter. That'd be dope. It's a good one. The tip jar. Yeah, the tip jar. Not that kind of jar. Tristan Simmons. 
Not just a nerf, she eated them entirely. I wanted to eat them entirely. But I knew you I know you guys would revolt, so I'm not going to. We'll compromise in the middle. <laughs> but that was my original plan. Nusagi is also like trying to convince me not to get rid of them. <laughs> Wait, Gator's here. Hey, Gator. Wouldn't be the first time I was part of a group of people singing Ram Ranch. <laughs> sure you wouldn't. <laughs> I'll think about it. I I'm sure you guys will like my model even if with smaller bobas, guys. The current size is good. It's a little big. Nozaki face all oh, stop. No, he doesn't know what's best. He is totally on you guys' side, which is annoying. <laughs> I was showing him my new model ideas and he was like, damn. You really want to be a gremlin, huh? He was like, are you sure? Are you sure? I was like, stop. Stop. After these meetings, some time passed and Gen 2 was finally given their own manager, who will be referred to as Man 4. Yay, we finally get our own manager. Man 4 also did not have prior management knowledge, but he did speak English and expressed that he would do his best and was willing to learn for us. I finally was happy and trusted Man 4 with everything. He made me feel worthy of asking for help and tried his best every day, but of course, this did not last long. My birthday was coming up, and after all the talents begged for months for birthday merchandise after being told no, why would you say no to that? Well, actually, why would you say no to that? We finally got permissions for it. I decided to do a birthday donut-on for my birthday celebration, and Man 4 helped me plan it. I made milestones infographics so that with every milestone I reached, a new reward would be unlocked, one of the milestones being an original song. so she gets a new manager for gen 2 there's only two people in gen 2 so they hired more people at least you know uh to tend to their needs he's not very experienced but he's willing to try his best he seems motivated at least which is sometimes all that you need to do a good job you know being motivated to learn i'm i'm confused why they would not grant her like the birthday merch isn't that more money for them like it's a lot of profit for a company usually elsa grand hit what was that no no you don't get it i'm a failed super villain I have Vagar vibes. Short stack vibes. And also don't ever call me older. Or anything with old. Or I'm gonna become grumpy. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> well, they do say that. Thank you. James McPhee, KFP, a KFP system betruer. Buff the boba! Thank you! Thank you for the super! Sure, Rima! <laughs> None of the managers had experience except that like manager director that they had. More mature sounds worst! Younger but mature sister vibes, aight. Okay, I'm seeing Grandma Rima's in the chat. I'm about to ban all of you. How do we purge a chat? Uh, 
Uh, all of these words that you guys are typing are giving me so much cringe right now. Experience what? No. Villain equals big boba. Try, stop trying to gaslight me. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, Wixward. Okay, Mr. Wixward. Think you're being big brained with your villain equals big booba? You guys are trying to groom me into liking big boobas. <laughs> Have love. I don't think we can say we love young Rima either. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, that that also sounds wrong. Why does that also so, sounds wrong? Small boba equals a fail to take over the world. Shit, am I gonna have less powers if I have small bobas? Is it actually directly correlated? How about medium? We can settle on medium. My horse is making weird sounds when he sleeps now. He's kind of like dreaming and he's making sounds. I don't know if you guys can hear him. True. <laughs> Why is everybody spamming? Yes. I hate you guys. My chat will never stop gaslighting me. medium is premium it's funny how a lot of you <laughs> say the same thing at the same time it would be easier to take over the world if your opponents are distracted by the jiggle well the jiggles are gonna stay You guys are trying to groom me to like Big Bobas, my brother in Christ, or Ochi is Marine. Yeah, but Marine's original model doesn't have Big Bobas. Actually, I don't like the large Bobas she has later on with her other model. Look, we're going to take a look at this. We're going on a tangent. Hello, alive. I'm going to Marine. Like, Marine is kind of like Moe, no? Can I? Where is her, the official website? Okay. Maureen, you're really not helping my case right now. Okay, she looks a little pervy, right? This is not helping. This is. Okay, this is not what she usually looks like, okay? She usually looks like this. Imagine having bad days. <laughs> See, she, she's. She's cute. She's kind of moe. She's. She doesn't have big bobas. It's mer It's medium. Yeah, but you guys only say that she's like a hag because you're hearing her voice in your head right now, and you know what she sounds like, and she sounds like somebody that would say dirty things. <laughs> right it doesn't help that when i open the page this is it this is her there's her sly face and the side boobs nah yeah her face makes her moe um and this one the bobas are like hella buffed they're hella buffed Dan, welcome to the cute squad. Thank you for the member. This is like too big. The hips are good though. I don't like this skin so much. Uh, I mean this outfit. It's um... There's a word for this. 
I can't remember the name. I like this outfit a lot. This one's really cute. I like Lolita Marine. And I also like this Marine a lot. And this Marine's really cute too. She she really doesn't wear that one a lot. I never see her in this. Not big enough, honestly. Pat's confirmed. <laughs> No, there's a term, a Japanese term, it's like... Oh man, I looked it up recently. It's like those girls that look like Jersey Shore. I feel like that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, Mumi's golf girlfriend is Peak. Um, let's see. See, like, Pecora and Suisse have, like, normal sizes and they're they're hot still, you know? Giaru, yes, it's Giaru. And she's got the little bikini. You gotta balance things out, though. You can't just be in a bodysuit. And have big bobas. No, that model is just beach relax. Oh, okay. Like a rich woman going to, to the beach. Mercurius Olicus, thank you so much for uh, the membership. Welcome to the cute squad. Flat. Sweet is padded. They are not villain. Yeah, but I'm going to make my own character. I'm not like a... Um, I don't want to be a villain that takes itself too seriously. Okay, that's way too big what Lamy has. Alright. Botan's boobs are kind of also jumping in my face. Yeah, I like Polka's model a lot. Polka's cute. Polka's cute. And she still has some definition. Why are the models so pixelized here? What about Lapless? <laughs> you guys are gonna freak out. I love Lammy Slammy. This artwork looks so different than the rest, like style wise. Hmm, trying to see. Damn, Fona has... Fona's kind of stacked. Fona's kind of stacked. I would like to make a video on Fona. I just don't know what angle to adopt. Where's the golf model? Is that it? I thought it was more golf looking than that. I don't remember it looking like that. I like I like Mume's body type, actually. I'd go for Mume. No 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 no. Actually I remember who I who I liked. I like the four mokos. Fauna's as big as Mori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nature is bountiful. <laughs> She is very comforting. Would you guys like a Fauna video? Yeah, it's not updated because the Mume one's not there too. So anyway, are you doubling or tripling your size? Fuck you. <laughs> I'd see, isn't Mokoko's body like perfect? I'd go for a Mokoko body the type and have some side boobs or bodysuit no no i'm trying to convince you guys with uh this is a little big 
Yeah, this is this is pretty big. Damn, Coco though. Damn. You're so bow bow. More Coco's good. Th that's the thing is I want some tummy. No more Coco. Stop. <laughs> I know you guys were gonna say something about Fuwawa. I should have just put her in a different window. Coco knows. Wawa is perfect. She is perfect. What about a boba and a tummy? Hmm. I want to be classy. Prima, I can't believe you would hurt me like this after everything we've been through. All the jokes, the fun times. Did I mean so little to you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't make it about fauna. Make it about the saplings. More will cry and more will laugh. Best of both. And I could be an angle. I, like make it about her audience. But then I feel like it's just going to be about her audience being done bad. I, <laughs> I would need to have some either some really funny stuff in there, uh, but also like some wholesome stuff. Would an Ollie vid be a good idea? It would be. She is very hardworking. She's she doesn't give herself much credit. Uh, it would be a good video. Yeah, yeah. Mume's emo model is there. It's the middle option. Okay, let's go look at that. Alice. Mume. Wait, I think I skipped her. Oh no, she's here. Oh, is that one? Yeah, her golf model is there. See, that's cute. There's this... Yeah, Ollie, Ollie's interesting. See, Mume's got a perfect body, guys. Stop complaining. It's fine. But what's the difference between that outfit and the other one? It's the same. It's the same, it's just a different pose. I really like this one though. This is like normcore 90s grunge or something. It's kind of like I like the bottom part of the outfit, but you would only see the upper part on stream, so. This is like what traditional mume? Could be bigger well the artist that i'm getting actually makes um mm, she makes character for for video games and stuff like gotchas and stuff and uh i think she's great because she does the fun stuff because i'm i'm past the point where i want to take myself like seriously as a <laughs> as a vtuber like the whole traditional thing i'm not into that or the whole i don't like the whole mommy vibes at, uh either M my artist made this character and I think she's so perfect. 
like everything and she kind of has boobs but not too much at first i wanted to get less boobs than that but i could settle for something like this because she's like cute she's fun and she's sexy Also, hold up. I also really like this character. Something like this would be cute. Like the purple and dark vibes. But a little more fun. But the other girl is perfect, right? She's perfect. She's actually like... Elle est bien roulée. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how to say it, not in French. Like, she has perfect proportions. So, I reverse searched that image and I found the artist who did it. It's a foreign artist. And I was like, please, 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 can you do my model? And she's super busy and she agreed. And she makes a lot of really fun characters. Like, like the characters you'd find in gacha games. So, I kind of just want to see what's her take on my model like i just want to see her be creative um but probably in this color palette or some like i like the shoes here and stuff but with my hair but my hair would be more bouncy Her name is Anne. I need, I like the little twin tails here. Like I need more bounce in my hair. I need more volume. But I need to keep distinctive traits of my character. Like, you know how Iron Mouse's model like has evolved throughout the years? Hooves could work, shut up. <laughs> I hate looking at chat. When I peek at chat, <laughs> you guys have the most cursed stuff. um yeah so yeah well we'll think of something she makes a really fun like uh even that character okay it's well you guys are gonna hate it because it's flat but i'm just talking concept wise okay concept wise i think it's such a great design like it's like it's like derpy looking um it's like a strong concept i love it it's funny she's made like um this is another one. Oh my god we're so on a tangent right now i'm sorry guys i don't want to show you guys all my ideas yet some of it's gotta stay secret to keep the suspense one of it is a chef just like all of her characters have a team and the team is really distinct and original this is like her chef character look at the little details on the hat and stuff and the belt so cute So it, this is not my concept, by the way. It's just, it's just stuff she's done in the past. I'm just showing you guys like her creativity and the kind of stuff she can do. Like all of these characters are characters in the video games. I feel like this character has her own spells. This character is throwing like cakes at you and stuff. Anyway. I think the vert body shape would fit you. What's the vert one? She knows and understands Thai squish. I approve. Okay, but you guys don't go go about telling people the artist's name before my bottle gets released. After it's fine. After it's fine. 
quick reverse search image that and find the artist tell her what we want big booba bribe her to keep booba same size also that we don't want that to happen <laughs> thank you charlie if we go and ask her to give you hooves will it work probably not No lolly rima please but i want to stay young forever let me stay young guys it's not gonna be lolly though it's not it's not it's petite though it's petite because that's my body size that's my actual body type okay are we done on this tangent are, are you guys ready to move on are you guys reassured But hooves and big bobas. <laughs> petite hag, let's go. All right, fine. You guys can have the petite hag. I don't care. I appreciate Rima regardless of size. Thank you, Beetle Rope. Finally. That was a tangent? Reassured on what? Rima the lolly <laughs> The Lolly Hag Requiem song. Uh, Vert from Neptunia. No. She's got huge boobs. What the hell, guys? What is this? She's got... There's no difference between my current body type and this. And my current model, I did it in like a few... I whipped this together in a few minutes. True, we appreciate Rima regardless of size, but bigger is usually better, just saying. <laughs> no, we're not going lolly, guys. I I don't know. We're not, we're not going lolly. I mean, I think, okay, I think some people can't differentiate between a petite uh, VTuber and a lolly VTuber. Like, Mume, that's not lolly. Actually, there is very little talents in Hololive that I would call lolly. Just to make things clear, like, uh, Hato is not lolly. Matsuri is not lolly, really. Uh, she she's the one of the closest though. She's a she's a short stack goblin after all. She's the one that was in Vosh's folder. Um I guess Shion could be lolly. No, not really, because she still looks like an adult. So for me it's not really lolly. Like, I feel like these three would be closer to Lolly to me and Gargora because Gar Gargora has the little, um, the arms that are a little thicker. Like, they have baby fat. Or maybe her. I don't really know this VTuber that well. No. What is really Lolly to me is like. I don't consider these lollies actually. None of these I consider lolly. I don't consider any of these lollies. The what I consider actual lollies is like those ships in Azure Lane. Anya? I feel like Laplace is just a brat. 
but she'd be the closer to a lolly um i actually for me like a lolly is really just those um like child looking characters in gacha games like the small boats in azure lane and you can see the difference when you compare the body type they usually have more fat around the arms and the legs But like there's no difference between her body type and the body type of like Rosie from Blackpink. What's the definition of a lolly? Mm. oh god i don't can i even show like uh lollies on stream without getting banned like not non-sexual ones obviously like that's don't these character look significantly younger don't these character look significantly younger than um laplace for example But like, can I show the Azure Lane ships or is that bad? Like, or is YouTube gonna demonetize me? That's what, that's what I'm wondering. Fuck it, I'm, I'm googling it. I don't care. Do they have all of the ships listed on the website? Okay, I don't know how to navigate this place. <laughs> like, um... Mm, yeah. Okay, they have really great characters. I've seen one that was, like, extremely tiny. They're cute, though. No. maybe that one but that's not even the one i'm looking for let me just make sure i have chat pulled up she's cute um One's a short stack, I think. That one looks really young. That one looks really young. Um, but there's worse than that. Where is she? I've seen a couple. Yeah. That one looks like a lolly. Look for destroy, but I don't know what these symbols mean because I don't play the game. But maybe I should. There's, I need a phone game to play. The submarines are often lollies. <laughs> Wait, how do you guys know all that? We, we've already been through those. We've looked at those we've looked at those I, i'm just cycling i feel this is why does this stuff keep changing on the the sidebar i'm getting tilted hello
Subs are smaller. Go to Sakura Empire. Okay, hold up, hold up. Is that a Sakura Empire? She looks like a lolly. Kind of, actually. Not really. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go to the wiki. That's where I first saw them. Azure Lane Wiki. Um. Oh, you guys said Sakura Empire. Oh my god, they have so much stuff. Dude, that's kind of insane. Okay, she, like... She looks extremely young. She does too. She does too. Um, she's... I think it was her that I was thinking about. Even though, I mean, they're adorable. Like, they have the really big eyes. Like, and they're a little... Like I, this is this is what I'm talking about. They're like a little fatter around the arms and legs, and it kind of simulates like baby fat. I'm trying to show Chad the distinction of like a petite VTuber model and a lolly. Just don't look at the alternate skins. Uh oh. Tomo is the perfect idol. I think of Loli as lot by Frills. Then you're thinking of Lolita, like the Lolita fashion trend. The one with the yellow hat, like these ones? That's the one I clicked on, right? Or not? Yeah, this one looks like a lolly. Like, they have, like, huge eyes. They have shorter limbs and slightly larger head. Yeah, um, yeah, I was talking about an artist about that too did you see a certain cake princess and a certain deer skin dancing in tokyo station no i haven't oh oh i didn't know that okay a lot of ship in ezra lanes are hmm. okay I mean, that's just the difference I wanted to say. Yeah, uh, I wanted to show you guys. So, yeah, I don't really feel like the whole life girls are uh, very lolly. I think they're pretty good at th uh, threading the line of just being cute. The Western origin doesn't matter, Lily and JP context isn't the same. Um What is the definition of a lolly? It's like I I don't know. The Wikipedia definition is a young looking girl character in Japanese anime and manga. Which is a pretty broad definition. Uh, and the thing is, I think the West has really demonized that word, but I don't think, uh, I don't think it necessarily means a bad thing. As a person who doesn't play either game, seriously can't remember which characters are from Kentai Collection and which are from Azur Lane.
I think if you type lolly in Google, it gets mad. Probably. Like, it's now a filtered wor word in, like, the West, but it, it shouldn't have been because it's not supposed to have a negative uh, connotation. We gave it a negative connotation. That's why I don't really mind talking about it. I mean, it's it's drawings. It's pixels. Uh, hello, I'm more akin to the Japanese petite than the Western petite and could be mistaken for lolly. I agree, some characters seem pretty close to it, like Lapless, Gora, and the other girl. Not, not Luna. What's her name? Her, Anya. Lolly is appearance, not age specific. Rory Mercury from Gate. Anime is a lolly. So is Fuyo Cloverfield from Idol Corp. Fuyo is the one with the big sleeves, right? Yeah. Wait, Fuyo's? Okay, that's not the one I was thinking about. <laughs> Do you think uh, Fuyo is a lolly? Um, I don't... You guys think Fuyo is a lolly? I was thinking the other girl that's like way smaller. She's very short too. Anyway. Everybody has their own definition of that word. Are you guys arguing with each other? I think we have different definitions of what uh, we consider lolly professional gentlemen. It is very wishy-washy. My definition is what I told you guys. Uh, and it's kind of like talking to several artists where we try to differentiate uh, clear standards or clear like telltale signs. It was really like the fatter arms the fatter like legs like baby fat and the bigger head with the really large eyes Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean, Suzume Hako. <laughs> anyway, why don't we go back to the topic at hand? We can do a whole st uh, stream on that. I actually have a lot of studies on... Uh, on lollies and... Uh, I've approached this subject a little bit in my Gora video. When I did that video, I was going to do... I was going to dive really deep into the lolly topic. 
Um, but uh, but then I was like, we're getting two sidetrack from Gora, so I didn't do that. But I still have all of that research and everything that I wrote that I never got to fit in the video. There's a lot of interesting stuff. There's a lot of misinformation about this topic. And there's a lot of misconception about its topic. And I also had some people that were... Um, Oh, it's gonna get too dark but i i did have some people where they said it actually helped them uh, in therapy and stuff let's not allow lolly discussion divert our attention from the fact that rima wants a reduction <laughs> that is the whole reason why this discussion started what was the topic again uh v and you Guys, I mean, Canada isn't China. We can... We have freedom of speech here. I'm not... I'm not gonna have somebody come and grab me because I'm looking at... Uh, I'm looking at Azurlane ships. We're fine. We're fine, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Does Canada have freedom of speech? Yeah, we do. You are? Let's go! I sold somebody, kitty. X? Why are you guys pressing X for doubt? Okay, well. All right, I don't know. The the I think you guys are arguing about something. Limited freedom of speech. Where's the freedom? Yeah, you can't you can't have limited freedom of speech. Um, okay, can we finish this document? Let's finish this. After this meeting, some time passed and Gen 2 was finally given their own manager who will be referred to as Ben 4. No, we did this. Okay, so she wanted... One of her milestones was to have a song. Uh, she asked him multiple times to confirm these milestones. Those games don't have illegal stuff that are legal here. Then it's not lolly. So you guys are arguing over nothing. <laughs> I don't know what... I think there's a word there that you guys are misconstructing. Uh, uh, you might be... You might be confusing it with lollycon, which is a completely different thing. Can't even make horse girls be without the Monty's coming for us. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, good point. Okay, moving on. Let's keep going. I I made about three thousand dollars for her birthday stream, uh, and then she reached the cover milestone. She took a break due to her mental health declining. As I felt I had everyone let down, my birthday celebration was a failure. Basically, she was so exhausted planning her birthday con or her birthday celebration that once she started doing it she was so exhausted that she had to finish it early so she felt so bad about that she took a break during my break man 4 messaged me and asked if i could have a quick meeting with him this is when i found out i wouldn't have been allowed to make an original song even if i used my own money to do so my question is why why wouldn't they let her um make her own song I confronted Men4 and told him we talked about this milestone reward twice, to which his response was, I guess there was some miscommunication. During the same meeting, my agency also confronted me about my streams of the game South Park and Class of 9, 
Originally, they had applauded me for these VODs and they were exceeding expectations. They liked these VODs so much that they told me to change the thumbnail to further increase the views. But they stated that I promoted hate speech and promotion of eating disorders. I denied this and they wouldn't listen and did not explain further. That, that, that's weird. And why wouldn't they give you more explanation? However, they did not remove said VODs despite accusing me of the above reason. So they gave her a penalty, but they kept the VODs on. They placed me on disciplinary action immediately following this and without warning. Then they announced this action as a hiatus posted on Feb 8 on their VNU Entertainment account. As they did not want me to make the disciplinary action situation public. All my access to my social media, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, was taken away and was given a temporary Discord account so that they could keep in contact with me. By this point in time, I reached my breaking point and decided I could no longer work with VNU Entertainment. I then informed them of my decision to graduate as of the first week of February 2024. So from the first week of Feb, she already had noticed them she wanted to leave. I did not ask them for compensation as I just wanted to leave. Yeah, another sh uh, another shadow suspension. The easy way to tell a lolly is compared to an artist's normal design is the eye level lower than the normal facial structure. Rory, for example, to me is petan, not lolly, as face is normal proportion. See, I like those. Yeah, I like that. I couldn't agree with that, uh, Ben. I like having those clear metrics to differentiate it. You know whose design I like? And I think the body proportions are pretty good. Clara from Face Connect, like the bunny girl. The bunny girl's great. This one. Bunny girl has a great design. I'd go for something like that. Depends on the art style era. True. I feel like the 80s and 90s art styles always had like huge eyes. And very pointy chins. Um, okay, so. This is where we get into the money part. Opening a Buru on stream that's dangerous. Yeah, I know YouTube doesn't like that that website. I, I actually never go on that website, so I don't know. I didn't know there was bad things on it. I guess it could be not safe for work. I just opened that picture at least. Um, I, I know my friend got a YouTube strike because she had that website linked in... Um, she had that website link in her video description so that's why since that day i put all my links in the paste bin because i'm so afraid because sometimes you won't get a strike right away but like two years later you can get a strike when youtube decides to wake up oh wait there's two boru website there's another one that's safer Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know about that, actually. She, whoops. Whoops, I could have done a whoopsie there. I could have done a whoopsie there. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for the heads up, guys. <laughs> whoops. Anyway, Clara also has her fan base always make fun of her because she's a hag, so that's funny. Not that I'm one. Not that I'm one. I'm young, of course, and I'll be young eternally forever. But I'm just saying, she's still cute. She's still cute. I could go for that body type and get a reduction and you guys will be fine with it. 
and we carry on i knew that i would be terminating my contract which was three years long but in the contract that legal mindset uh read yesterday on his stream it said that it was a one-year contract so i'm confused about that part and i don't know if anybody can clarify this for me that saw the stream Yeah, poor Yam. Oh, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, poor Yam. She's been through a lot with the YouTube strikes, man. I try to help her a lot during that time. Yeah. Uh, she's out of the YouTube jail now, so I'm happy for her. Um, before these meetings, I had already acknowledged in my mind that I would have to pay back some costs, such as the cost of my model and assets. Okay, so it's like we talked about earlier. They, you know... I think this is reasonable if you're leaving early. Um, but if it's a... I do feel like most companies should just not ask you to reinforce it. But it's okay if they do. That's part of the deal. You signed it. That's fine. During these meetings, they told me I would have to pay damaged losses totally totaling to 605 million won. Which according to conversion rates, totals up to 450,000 USD. This was the amount of money that they demanded I pay back so that I could graduate slash terminate my contract. And if I did not do so, they would press charges against me, which they acknowledged in their statement on March 21st, 2024. They did say that in a statement. They did acknowledge that in a statement, which is another PR disaster. I told them that before I promised to pay anything, I would need to see an itemized list with proofs and receipts of these costs and payment. This took them over a week to compile and deliver as the initial meeting was on February 6, 2024. When they gave me the itemized list, I immediately saw that a lot of the costs, damage and losses lists were fictitious. As they tried to charge me with things such as direct labor costs, projects that includes other talents, assets and materials that I was not allowed to use or had access to, and more. Like, okay, you can leave. We're going to charge you from a few costs uh, that we, you know, our investments that we put into you. You're going to be charged for uh, the coffee machine, the paper um the guy that worked on your teammate like uh, random expenses that uh, you don't have access to that's crazy all right there's a hair on my mic when i asked them questions regarding the amounts of money listed and if this was legal they muted multiple times for three to five minutes intervals during the meeting to talk amongst themselves I also asked them if I would still be receiving the money earned from my birthday subathon. And for the month of December, I worked approx uh, $1,000. Okay, so birthday subathon is approx 3,000 USD. And the month of December, I worked approximately 1,000 USD, to which they said they would be withholding it as a punishment due to my disciplinary action for the time being. So like yeah yeah just charge her the rent at this point i don't get it um and they're they're billing her for 450 dollars like all almost half a million dollar and they're withholding the payments of her subathon and of the whole month of december and i i feel like that's not right because the audience that is donating to these this isn't, I mean, I know there was a small salary that she gets of like $500 per month, I believe, in her contract. Uh, but the rest of the money, this is money that the audience is donating to her. They're, they're tipping to her. They're um, doing memberships. They're subscribing to her in terms of memberships. And it's it's misleading for them to keep that money i feel like it's wrong because i'm giving this as a tip to somebody that means i want the person to receive that money i, I want to support them directly 
I'm not trying to support the company and have the talent not see a cent of uh, the money that I'm given. It's like if you guys were giving me uh, the money and uh, who did we say was pimping me the other day? <laughs> like my dog received all of the money actually and I didn't see a cent of it. I think this is already backfired. She have to go to she have to wait. They go after her legally before. Yes, she has to wait. Um, if she goes there, they might there. It's going to be judged by their court. I mean, we don't even know if she would actually win here. Technically, technically. Because. In contracts, there they usually state like the um, the place where the court would be would take place, and sometimes, depending where you live, the states can choose to uphold the decision of that court. So they could they could go to court in Korea and come to a verdict there. Now, whether or not that verdict will be applied where she lived, that's another story. And that depends on, like, um, her laws or her court of laws. But there, there's been some cases where they did decide to go with what another country's verdict was. Yes, it's exactly like that. It's like the restaurant owner keeping tips and you wanted to just tip the waiter that served your table. Yeah, that, that's a really good example. Thank you, lady. Even if they went to court and won, they already lost in the court of public opinion. Absolutely. And uh, I've seen some of those girls stream pop on my recommendation feed and it's not going well. They don't get a lot of views. Although, I guess that doesn't stop people from donating copious amounts during donatons, even if you don't have a lot of viewers. So, yeah. I guess... Before you donate to a corporation, just look into what they're doing first. Do some background check to make sure your money is really going where you want it to be. Or if you don't care, that's fine. Like, let's say I'm purchasing a skin in a game. I know I'm never going to get anything material from that skin. And I know that money is going directly to a corporation, like the company that's running the game. But I'm okay with that because that's the choice I made when I purchased the skin. Um, but, but I feel like there's a distinct dif difference between this transaction and the kind of transaction VNU is doing and the kind of transaction that's happened with uh, Project F, Lorelei Locks Agency. Juni e had a guerrilla live annotation of the VNU contract last night and she doubts the contract holds up in Korean law. Okay. Big Juni. E. Is she So is she trained in Korean law? Juni e was looking at the contract after LM stream and she found out that even in Korea she would win. Oh, interesting. I really got to watch the stream. Could learn a lot. Even if the court rules in favor of VNU, she doesn't even have that money. So what even happens? That's a really great question. I guess you have a certain amount of time to pay it back. But I've heard with people that were like broke. If you don't, if they don't have the money, it might take them. It can take them forever to pay it back. So what happens? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, she's not. She does international relations, so she used public Korean database for legal stuff. Okay. Okay, so... Hmm. What, what's international relations, actually? What does that mean? C 
seizure of assets? You think so? I know one of my like family friends had some had some squatters in his building and they wouldn't leave. Um but he didn't sue them. Like he didn't ask for the money back. He just brought them to court to make them leave because he was like there's no point in me suing them because they don't have money anyway and I'm not going to get the money back. He was like it's not worth the money. That's why I'm say that's why I'm I'm wondering. Vin, you said they were refunding the months of December to March. They did this to look good. While in the same statement that it takes two months to pay VTubers by them, it took them uh, saying the quiet part out loud. They were not paying Seraphie for her work. Yeah, absolutely, Tancred. And um, I mean, I don't know why it takes them two months to pay the VTubers. I also was in an agency that took three months for payments. And it was very difficult, like financially. I always had to save for three months in advance. So I always needed to have a cushion and I could never rely on the paychecks. And when we asked them why they were doing that, they explained that it's because they're reinvesting our money into the company, into other stuff. So they have like this three month to... They have this three months of leeway, but it's kind of unnecessary. International relations is different countries making agreements and treaties. Okay. Okay, thanks, guys. Juni is also doing what is a NATO stream. That could be worth checking out. I'm going to have a collab with Juni uh, fairly soon, by the way. It's going to be really fun. International relation is foreign affairs mainly. She essentially cross reference stuff in terms of cross borders issues. Damn, Junie's so smart. Yes, they were making money off my money. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. Is that even legal? Probably, or they wouldn't do it, right? But that's crazy. She gave up researching US law. What the hell? Is it more complicated than the other laws? Crazy. Okay, so she decided to get a lawyer to look into everything as I felt I was being taken advantage of. After sending my lawyers all the documents, he told me that the itemized list was in fact illegal in the states and not action acts actionable. Actionable? Actionable? I don't know how to pronounce this word. He also reviewed my contract and said that the contract did not make sense and could be considered null due to the way it was written. Therefore, he told me to tell them that I would not be paying the 450,000 USD amount and to lose all contact with VNU Entertainment as they would not be able to press charges charges against me since i lived in the u.s and was therefore protected by u.s law additionally they could not force me to go to korea to pay either i did as my lawyer said and told via new entertainment that i would not be paying i would be losing all contact with them as of february 27 i did not say once that further communication should be through legal procedure oh she didn't even say that she didn't even say that. Okay, I had in my notes that what I wrote in my notes was that they said um, that she they claimed that she wanted to stop communicating with them and that future communications would be made via legal actions. And then my argument was that talking to a lawyer doesn't equate legal actions. It just means they're talking to a lawyer. The uh, legal procedures haven't started. But she says she didn't even say that they needed to go through her legal to her lawyer. She just got communication with them. At that point, I was then communicating with them and told them and clarified that fact twice. I hope she kept screenshots. 
They acknowledged me cutting contact and my refusal to pay and told me that they understood the circumstance and that they would take actions as needed. Prima plushie for the win, yes. Can't be acted upon, thank you. Shortcut. Shortcut word. Like, even if the employee is indebted to the company or has some kind of money to be paid back, the wage itself cannot be touched. It can't be arbitrarily deducted or seized. Can it not be? Sometimes in my agency, I mean, I didn't do that. Because I didn't need to. I was a little bit more responsible with my money. But, like, some of my friends they would ask for an advance it's crazy that you have to ask for an advance and they charge you for your advance like they gave him interest to take out money from his own paycheck in advance uh, of the three months because it takes him fucking three months to process the payment and then they would deduct that money directly from his wage Hey Blade, how's it going? It's USA loss. VNU will lose in our side. Possible win in their own turf, you can argue. But court will favor her than the company expe uh, expect if they drag it out. LM knows the law better, you can ask him. I spoke to LM a little, but he's been very busy. Very busy. I did watch the stream, I just haven't seen the very end of it, which I will finish tonight, probably after the stream. Yeah, we need to see the labor laws where Alien lives, and we don't even know where she lives, I believe. That is allowed in Canada? I feel like it might have been allowed because we're freelance contractors. I then waited two weeks uh, since February 27th and that's after a month of her telling them you know that she she wants to leave for VNU to make an announcement about my departure which they knew of since the first week of February but it never happened I debated saying something but I did not want to escalate the situation I lurked in the VNU discord server and saw so many of my fans wishing for my return and to come back healthy and happy I also saw that they did not close my membership and were still receiving money from that as well as re releasing merchandise while acting like I was still part of the company as they were posting videos of me. The f what the hell? What the hell? Celebrating the MV release and anniversary. This broke me as no one knew I would not be returning, so I decided to ask my YouTube moderator to put an announcement of my departure in my section of the Discord server to let my fans know, as VNU neglected to do so. Also, her mod... I wonder if this is the official Discord server. So the mods... Is she a freelance contractor? Oh, I was talking about my situation, sorry. Um... I don't think she is because she gets a salary. I, I think I confused you guys because I started talking about my stuff. Uh, I should have just stick to the topic and try to finish my faults before jumping to another one. I'm sorry. This is my ADHD acting up. That that part just is, is, is wild to me. They're like skinwalking them and they're gone from the company yeah it's like you said some course pretend to be the towns on twitter i feel like this is very close to this very close after much consideration i decided to keep streaming and went back to my old account i want to let my fan knows what happened and why i was gone for so long i do not wish to continue focusing my energy into this matter anymore you never want to continue focusing your energy on this it's uh it takes so much out of you. It takes so much. I wish to focus my energy into rebuilding my community as well as to rebuild myself, rebuild myself and move on. 
they can say what they want to say i know what happened to me and what i went through and i will not let them gaslight me into thinking otherwise damn she's strong i like that i do not wish to keep being reminded about this which is causing me to relive the past over and over again to my fans and the VTuber community as a whole, I want to thank you for supporting me and I hope that all of you will continue to do so in the future. Yeah, because they keep putting state official statements, uh, you know, bashing her. Uh, hopefully this is the last back and forth they have on Twitter. So she can just continue focusing on content creation. Of course, we're going to support her as much as we can. We raided her last time. She seemed very happy uh, to see you guys in the chat. So, you know, we need more uh, more stuff like that. Ali needs pet picture to recover from hard day after posting the statement. Flood her exposed with your pet pics. Yes, I saw that uh, Twitter post x you know what i mean thank you thank rad thank you so much i really appreciate all the super so far guys and the support in the chat of course it says special service not labor nor employment contract i i took snippets from the legal mindset stream and legal mindset said i took some notes he said that the contract tries to pass off as a not labor contract, but also a lot of the points look like one. Such, uh, one of them is calling her a broadcaster. Broadcaster shall perform high quality character performance and activities as VTuber in accordance with the company's request or with mutually agreed content, schedule terms and conditions. And they also, you know, have a schedule for her broadcast for at least three days a week and she'll write at least three posts per week and that's the part that was weird um this part okay a uh, company and broadcaster may adjust their frequency and time through monthly consultation but but if the consultation does not proceed due to any circumstances it will be decided to proceed as the previous consultation matters or broadcasting matters broadcaster with regard to the above consultation may present and discuss his her own various practical opinion to company but the final judgment and decision shall be made by the company and broadcaster shall respect and follow as far as the decision is reasonable basically the provisions of work can change at any moment uh they can just decide that you know when you signed a contract back then yeah you were supposed to stream three times a week but now we need you to stream five times a week so figure it out so that's why they got mad at her when she uh, wasn't able to stream. When she had lost her equipment in transit, they were pressuring her to stream. Uh, broadcaster shall be strictly prohibited from making political, racial, hateful, sexual, or provocative remarks or actions in broadcasting activities. Broadcaster shall share all the schedules and content related to activities with company based on the nature of the broadcasting. Broadcasting with schedule and contents that are not notified to company is strictly prohibited and broadcaster shall bear all the responsibilities for any problems or claims that may adversely affect company's business or cause tangible losses and shall keep and hold company indemnified. Wow. So this is also what they stuck her with um, when they said that she was promoting hate speech. That's not enforceable. This part, uh, Ryuken, or the one before? Article 7 tries to defy law by claiming it's not a labor agreement, but contracts do not supersede, su supersede laws. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Right. Okay, okay, thank you. People should try to read terms of services as a contract practice. Dude, I would rather read a contract. Well, that was never going to hold up in the US. I agree. Oops. Only guaranteed first four months pay and contract. Wait, really? I didn't get that far. They only guaranteed the first months, four months of pay. Okay. Okay. The rest of it is like, you're supposed to be making more in supers, but they probably didn't because they didn't support them at all. The contract is not so bad. It's just coming on some parts. It looked as if a lawyer wrote it and then updated the contract. Hmm. It's not as bad as the Niji Sanji one that we saw. The alleged Niji Sanji one, because it might not, not have been the real one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, the most egregious part is the is the fine and the fine fees. I feel like maybe they exaggerated that to pressure her to stay. I don't, I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know how they're going to defend that in a court of law. I hope it doesn't hold in a court of law in Korea because that would be so stupid. Asians tend to be greedy with money. I'm Asian living USA. I can say it because knowing how family works. I mean, people are greedy, but not corporal greed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, my parents are immigrants too, and they're also greedy with money. That's normal. There's a certain degree that's like normal because like... I had an aunt that literally recycled like Ziploc, like she would clean the Ziploc bags and reuse them because, you know, when they were young, uh, the, they've been through tough times, sometimes they didn't always have something to eat, so they save every penny where they can. And that's okay, that's different. That's different than corporal greed. Maybe the contract needs reduction. Not Rima. <laughs> I hate you. Why'd you have to remind them? Don't remind them. Just shh, just let it. I let it. For, let them forget it. Let them forget it. Greedy isn't the right word. Which word would you use for this then? Sometimes I do that too. Well, sometimes like I I put like I don't know like half a lemon in the Ziploc bag, and then I'm like, well, the bag's not dirty. I might as well reuse it. But most of the time, I just throw it away because I'm lazy. But you're supposed to reuse Ziploc bag. Wait, you are? Are you actually supposed to? That was a good one. Hashtag free boba. Oh my god. You got them riled. You got- see what you did? You got them riled up again. Prima, we never forget thumbnail A and now reductions. <laughs> I'm taking everything from you guys one by one. I'm the worst. Oh, frugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, frugal is better. Greedy has more of a negative uh, connotation, I think. Frugal is more practical. Oh, you guys reused them. Okay. Oh, interesting. I thought my aunt was weird this whole time. But it's not just my aunt. It's you guys too. <laughs> Got him. I'm joking. I'm joking. You can try tea bags for later reuse. They would have less taste, no? They'd be less potent. Wait, there's an ad? I barely put any ads in this. I mean, I, I put it at the lowest amount. Like, legit the lowest. The minimum. Apparently, the best way is that I, like, I'm supposed to uh, manually play the ads. But I kind of just... I put it on autopilot. Here's my monthly debt payment. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> insert evil laugh hey celtic reusing ziploc bags 
Yeah. 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 We're talking about reusing Ziploc bags. I mean, I I don't see ads anymore because I paid for YouTube Premium. I was so sick of seeing them and honestly, it's been a life changer. It's a little expensive where I am. It's like 12 or 18 bucks. I don't remember, but worth. I can also listen to YouTube in the car now. All right, so um, in other news, there's been this Niji Sanji uh, mod who's also a Pokemon YouTuber. I guess it's it's the other way around. It's uh, it's this Pokemon YouTuber that also happens to be um, the Niji Sanji mod of Amamiya Kokoro who <clears throat> talks shit about Suisei because Suisei basically made a collab with this game called Idol Master Cinderella Girls Starlight Stage. I guess that's the MV you guys were talking about earlier. And uh, they said, I was disgusted by the collaboration between Holo and the Idol Master, but I'm glad it was criticized as I thought it was. They should implement a feature to exclude Holo from this game. They don't even want to see Suisei. In the character select stream how dare they put whole life girls in an idol game i think it fits i think it fits to have suisse especially who's like the idol of whole alive um in the game and that's her that's her outfit in idol master i think it's pretty cool i think uh, the graphics look cool this is her card Yeah, so this, uh, at first I was confused when I look into this because I was like, oh, did she do like a Pokemon collab? But no, they're mad because of an idol. Is it an idol manager game? Like, I don't get it, but I would play that game. I would actually play it. I would actually play it. So, yeah, I feel like maybe people uh, made it seem like that story was a bigger deal than it was but for me it's a nothing burger it's a nothing burger. it's just somebody being salty and they're being a holo anti and they're you know they're niji sanji mod so they're being kind of tribalist i really want to play an idol manager game i've never played one i would play needy girl overdose on stream or something that could be fun i wonder how long it takes to complete this game and suddenly we got Pomu. Yes, you guys got flashbanged by Pomu, the perfect idol, as Gator said earlier. Um, Pomu did an IRL hangout with Fuamoko. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. They posted a picture together. It was really cute. Um, and she later, after that collab, did. Oh, I forgot to show you the stream. Yeah, that was the... Um, I think these are like news tubers or... And they talked about... They're the one that broke the story. And I asked my uh, Japanese translator to verify some information. Um, and the uh, YouTuber they're talking about is Ashiki. Uh, it's a YouTuber with almost 70k sub, and they're the moderator of Niji Sanji Liver. And really, the only thing shown in the video is his tweet about Swiss's collab with the game. So that was the tweet that I had the quotation on screen, which led to the topic of the video. And the tweet has already been deleted. And another tweet is a poor comment he made towards a VTuber from another group. And basically, people said that like he's done a lot he said a lot of negative comments about vtubers in general so yeah um and then pomu took the twitter later on to do a twitter space um which is now deleted but i want to take a second and listen to it because i haven't listened to it yet um, but I know the general feeling is that she felt like she didn't belong anywhere, which is 
sad. Hello. 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 I'm gonna put the Hello. bubble pick. If you hear noise in the background, that's my washing machine doing laundry. Hello. 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 Is anybody here? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Hearing her voice again. Oh. Something fell off of my washing machine. <laughs> Something else fell off of my washing machine. I'm okay. Hello. Is anybody here? Hello. I don't know if anybody's here. Hello. 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 Oh, people are here. Hello. <laughs> We're here, Pomo. I just planned on saying hello until... <laughs> I was just gonna say hello until... Um, until... Uh, if anybody showed up. <laughs> it's like, is, any, is anybody... Maybe no one... Maybe no one cares. <gasps> oh, shoot! I got a foot mask. And... I realized I was gonna wash my foot. My feet. Okay, I'm taking you guys to the bathroom. Let's go wash my feet. Oh, wait. Okay, is that, I don't know. I've never gotten this foot mask before, but it asked me to do a spot test, which I think is kind of, um, kind of uh, weird. I don't know. I don't, what, like, what do you mean a spot test? Like, usually, like, things will want you to do a spot test to see if you're allergic to it or if, like, it's too strong, but, okay, I'm washing my feet now. Okay. <laughs> feet. <laughs> uh, okay, where do I put my phone? Can you hear my washing machine, by the way? I'm really sorry. It's only gonna go for another 15 minutes, so, okay. Wait, but... I need to do this. I didn't expect this to turn washing. into this. Okay. What? This is already a little spot. Why does any of this need to be... How long oh. is this thing? Oh my god, it's oh my one god. hour long, okay. <laughs> It looks like I'm an udder currently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, maybe this was a mistake. Oh, gosh. Wait, what is she saying? Talented. Always on doing something. <clears throat> As someone that's been a fan of Keiki since before she was an idol. I was in middle school at the time. It feels weird seeing the resurgence in popularity, but it's deserved. She's also a very hard worker. <clears throat> Did you cry? Did I fry? <laughs> Did you cry in front of Keiki? No. No, not really. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> I almost cried in front of Allie and Sally. <laughs> uh, I think this might be I a I was part. talking about... Uh, I was talking about something that we 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 were like you know just catching up. I was talking about something that had happened that um you know wasn't so great, and I oh uh and I almost ended up crying <laughs> in front of them. Oh, which is really embarrassing. I don't think they realized, and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, they didn't realize. <clears throat> but, that's sad. You know, I've been. I don't know, not going through it, but just kind of, maybe I've been going through it. <laughs> maybe going, uh, just a little bit. I'm excited to go home. So I go home. This is, this. I go home very soon, actually. Very, very soon. So, um, I'm feeling a lot of mixed emotions about that, obviously, because of, you know, been able to do, been able to do so much here. And uh, I know some people are probably like, or I've seen some people being like, you should just move to Japan. And I honestly don't necessarily want 
that. Like I, I do, I enjoy coming here and traveling as a visitor, but um, I don't really necessarily want to live here long, long term. I'm glad that I did. It's like, I don't know. I don't regret coming here. Uh -huh. Um, obviously, but I would not go with the school that I went with this time. I would not go with them again. I didn't really exactly like how the, and I learned, I did learn a lot. I did learn a lot. So like I said, I don't regret it, but there were issues that I was like, mm, mm, mm. and so it's not exactly like, <clears throat> um, an ideal situation. So, uh, school got you down in the grumpy dumpies. I don't think it's school. I think it's just been, you know, I kind of came here to. Why doesn't she take stream? Some time off and to kind of. Oh. I'm gonna let her be talk. productive <laughs> while also sorting out my life. <laughs> uh huh. Um, kind of, you know, I'm obviously here. For studying and then i go home and i think what do i want to do once i go home but i uh, uh -huh. i um i feel more confused than i <laughs> than i did when i first came <laughs> and um i don't know i just have been feeling kind of really lost um sorry i don't mean to like oh god i'm getting into like oh, yeah. the the serious bits soul searching yeah kind of soul searching because a lot had happened and uh um i don't know if people are gonna freak out if i show that video gentlemen because it's like uh you know, it's a Kiara's IRL thing. People have been cancelled for less for some reason, even though she's very public about it. But, uh... Oh my god! Bro, can you not beat me to the punch? I was gonna say that too. I also feel like she's in a non-compete. I thought... I was thinking it was a year. I was thinking it was a year. So, yeah. Because I'm like... She's like active, but not really. Uh, and she's tweeting a lot, but she's not streaming. It can be good for your mental health to live in the want and to live into I want to do these things, but not doing it. The Idol Master series are like a holy Bible to JP Otaku for like two decades. So if somebody is someone is too invested in Niji. It's kind of like rubbing salt to wound if Solo Mem is in it, but Niji is not. Oh. Thank you for this background insight. That is, that's great. That is great. Thank you so much. Do you guys think it's fine to show the video? I don't I don't wanna get DMCA'd for a song. We'll have the Twitter space run at the same time. I don't know. Uh uh something I don't I don't know how much I wanna say about this, to be honest. Uh um uh <laughs> I guess the way I'll word it is I found something out after I left <laughs> my previous job and it kind of left me feeling a little she also said that she bought these because I think um, traumatized is too sorry great of a word but that's that's the one I was supposed to mute she bought these to cover her face because she's not used to showing her face in public yet okay going back to this um I think I'm going to delete this Twitter space afterwards. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, uh, it's been weighing extremely heavily on me. 
so I, uh, um, sorry, I don't usually like talking about this kind of stuff at all. Um, but, uh, I, uh, have been kind of ho holding <laughs> onto it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, just a little, little bit of tr tr trauma. <laughs> Wait. Can I rewind, like... But, uh... Do you guys mind if I rewind a little? Always, um, doing something. <clears throat> As someone that's been a fan of Keiki since before she was an idol. I was in middle school at the time. It feels weird seeing the resurgence in popularity. But it's deserved. She's also a very hard worker. <clears throat> Did you fry cry? Did I fry? <laughs> Did you cry in front of Katie? No. No, not really. I yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest. I almost cried in front of Ali and Sally. <laughs> no, we saw that. Oh, I rewinded too much. I was talking much. about. Uh, I was talking I about always something. Do this. We 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 were like you know, just catching up. I was talking about something that had happened that, um, you know, wasn't so great, and I, uh... Watch, now I'm gonna forward too much. Yeah. yeah. Can we go back to the dancing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this was a mistake. Oh gosh, I didn't expect it to get so serious. I should have just done the baby feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a clear job we want to aim for in the future. Is that part of the current soul searching? I don't know at all what I want. <laughs> I I don't know. It's part of the soul searching, I suppose. Yeah. Um but you know, hopefully uh Hopefully, um... Aren't they scared you know, somebody will steal the camera? You can, if you're also feeling the same way, you can take some solace in knowing that you are not alone. And I'm also confused at life. And so we can be confused together! Yippee! Ah! <laughs> oh. Posting feet to lighten the mood. <laughs> Eat, pray, love. So true. Wait, this is cool. They have the camera on the uh, iPad. I oh my gosh, you guys. I went to a head spa today. Uh, let me get the name of it because if you are ever in Japan, I recommend this place so much. It was just... Oh my god. Japan oh, people don't steal? Oh my god. The They're so way cute, she right? touched me. It was so it was so oh. <laughs> mm. wait how do I say this hold on it's called onkatsu salon I feel like this on. part fits <laughs> it, it was fits an what she's saying and like oh my god it was so oh she she okay I, I got to, uh, it was a head spa. Okay, uh, so I follow this, this YouTuber. Oh my gosh, hold on. You guys, before I leave school. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going on tangent after tangent after tangent. <laughs> I, oh, she's like, oh me my gosh, real. at my school. Oh my god. I think there's a YouTuber there that I watch. I think. Really? I think there's a YouTuber there. That I am subscribed to. Is she Japanese? Um, and I'm gonna have a jelly. I think I, 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 but I'm too afraid to talk to her. Because I'm like, what if she is, what uh -huh. if she is not her? <laughs> Go talk to her, Pomo. Ah, oh, Pomo's conflicted. Uh, Pomu. Is there more after that? 
Or are we good? Rima recommended so pog. <laughs> Wait, what, what was it? Oh, I'm in there. Doki bird. So, sometimes I get random VTuber pop up and I kind of always... Um, Resident Otaku becomes an idol. I really like the outtake part. That part was my favorite. I thought that was so cute. So is Pomo Japanese because she's studying in Japan? 